Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So today I wanted to show you guys how I make my iced lattes at home. Um, if you guys don't know, I actually own a coffee roasting company with my husband. My husband's actually the roaster. So it's called Proper Coffee Roasters and we have had this business for like five years, I would say, four to five years. So I've been in the coffee industry for a while. Um, I really, really love coffee and I also love making it at home. So I wanted to show you guys just like a simple way of making an iced latte at home so you can save like five, six dollars a day um, just by making it at home and also buying coffee and supporting like a local coffee company that's in your area. So um, you can buy this online if you want to try out my husband and I's company. It's called Proper Coffee Roasters. You can go to propercoffee.org and order whatever coffee we have available at the time. We roast different different origins every single week. So yeah, it's really fun to just mess around, play around with coffee, and just see like what tastes good, what doesn't taste good, find what you like, and kind of like develop a palate. Um, it's similar to wine in the sense of like, you know, there's certain countries, certain flavor notes, tasting notes, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's kind of how my husband and I are with coffee. We really love it. We see it as a creative thing, like a creative outlet for us. So yes, I'm going to show you guys how to make an iced latte at home. So I have a few different roasters at the moment here in our house. Um, obviously we have our own, which I'm not going to be using this just because I want to try out something different. Um, I have a couple other coffee companies, which these are two different roasters, which I'm not really going to go into all this, but the one I'm going to be using today is Three Africas by Blue Bottle. It's called Three Africas because it is three different places in Africa, so three different origins in Africa in one blend. So I'm going to use this for espresso. It's great. It's really chocolatey. Um, it's really not dark, but in a sense like it cuts through the milk really, really well, where like some like lighter coffees, like in Ethiopia, per se, or, um, you know, like a, Gua a Guatemala would probably be good, but yeah, this would probably be the best for espresso. Something in like the darker regions, just like a Brazil or a Guatemala. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be a really good option. This was roasted a while ago, but it still works, it's still holding its flavor, so we're gonna try this out. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go through my equipment. Um, I have a lot of things, but we're, I'm just gonna show you the stuff that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna be using this guy, this is our espresso machine. We bought this literally at a grocery store when we were dating like eight years ago for like 50, 60 bucks. And we've taken this thing across the whole country. Like anytime we go on a road trip, we bring it with us. Our fam We make lattes for all of our families at like holidays, events, that sort of thing. So it's just funny, it's came a long way when it's literally like pretty cheap. This brand is called Crofton. I don't know if you can find this exact one anymore, but it's honestly perfect for at home. Obviously they have like more higher end, like La Marzocco makes a single group, Slayer makes a single group, which is like the Maserati of the Coffee World Company. We actually own three Slayers across our locations that we have. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that because you're gonna be spending a pretty penny probably better off just buying your $6 lattes for a couple years because you probably would be spending more money on the machine. So I would say I'd recommend just like an at home espresso machine in between like the 50 to $200 range, whatever like your budget is. Um, you can find these anywhere. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can find them pretty much anywhere. So um, the first things first is I'm going to empty out the port filter because it's dirty. So one sec. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do now that my port filter is clean, I am going to turn this on, let it heat up, and make sure there's water in the chamber in the back, which there is. It's heated up. It's ready to go. So next, I have my scale. Um, this is kind of like complex. You don't really have to do this, I guess. If you want to just eyeball it, that's fine. If you're just at home, but um, I'm psycho, so I want to make sure that it tastes as best as I can make it taste. So I have my little measuring cup. I'm actually going to use this for espresso later, but I'm going to tear it out at zero on the scale. And then 
I'm gonna do about, typically like at our shop, we would do about 20, 20 grams in, 18 to 20 grams in, and then you want about 35 to 40 grams out. That's the ratio. Um, for this, it's not as complex because I'm, <laughs> I'm just playing around. So I don't even think this chamber would even hold that much. So I'm going to do about 15 grams and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put my grinder. I have the Encore grinder. It's really, really great for at home. It's about a couple hundred dollars, but it's really good. You can go super coarse if you want to make some cold brew at home. You can do like medium if you just have like a regular drip pot, like our Bonavita back here. Um, you can do pour over settings and then you can also do espresso settings. So I'm going to put it on about nine to 10 because I'm afraid it's not going to come out if I do it any finer than that. You want espresso to be fine because you want that water to really have a hard time pushing through that, that coffee. So I'm going to put that in, grab that up. Next, I'm just going to tamp that in really well because you just want to get like a nice little tamp. So push down, kind of make sure it's really good in there. Wipe off the excess and then stick that in there. I'm going to weigh mine out because again, I'm crazy and I want to make sure that it comes out good. So since I put about 14 to 15 grams in, you want to double that. So you're looking at like 28 to 30 grams out is what I'm hoping that it comes out at. So I'm going to go ahead and there's only one setting. It's just go. So I'm going to put it on the espresso setting and see if that worked. So yeah, it's coming out pretty good. It's a little fast. A little bit I mean, it smells pretty good. So I'll show you. So you want it to have like some crema. So that is like really, really nice crema. Okay, so typically I would do like oat milk, but I don't have any, so. So I'm gonna pour that right on top of there. So that's our espresso with our ice. I love these squared ice cubes. They're literally my favorite. Okay. Next, I'm gonna get some. So I have a few options that I can do. Um, I really, really like to do unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm typically like an oat milk lover. I love oat leaves, it's so good, but I don't have any on hand right now. It's all at the shop. So I'm gonna do vanilla unsweetened almond milk by Silk. It's it's good to do like, I don't like sugar in my coffee really ever. Like I don't really like flavored lattes. I have to be really in the mood to get like a vanilla latte or something. So I like to do the unsweetened almond milk just so that I'm not putting extra sugar and I can really taste the coffee. But at the same time, I like the vanilla, um, vanilla unsweetened just because it does give it like a little bit of sweetness since it's super not sweet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add that in. I love watching this. I love watching like it change colors. Okay, so that is my at home almond milk unsweetened latte. Oh, it's so good. It's literally so good. It's perfect, exactly what I wanted. So yeah, super easy. I'll link some options below for you guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go sit down, edit some photos and enjoy my coffee. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see more videos like this, like coffee, educational type videos. I'd love to share the things that I know with you guys. So definitely want my channel to be somewhere that you can come and escape, but also learn new things. 
So yeah, if this was fun for you guys, then let me know. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers.